freedom to choose the jobs you want, when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hey guys, and welcome to part two of my Scotland trip from Scotland all the way back down into Pembroke. Unfortunately, the video was too long to put it into one video. I just noticed you can see my car outside. <laughs> um, the video was too long to put it into uh, one video, so I had two options, put it into two different parts or remove footage entirely and then you wouldn't be able to see it. So I decided to put it into two different parts. Um, last video, we just got loaded um, near Aberdeen with potatoes and we're making our way back down south in this video. And, um, yeah, so you're going to join me um, on the way down. We're going to be somewhere near Preston, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, but that's where we're going to be. Anyway, enjoy the video and, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, situation reports. Just thought I'd uh, give you uh, some more information on what's happening. The roads now, by the way, absolutely fine. Doesn't, there's no ice, no snow, no nothing. It's, it's glorious. <laughs> um, Compared to the weather that we had back there, um, yeah, much better. So we have been driving now for nearly three hours um, since you last saw me. We've also filled up with fuel as well. So we got fuel um, and we got a 15 minute break in at a shell garage, can't remember where it was, um, back there, <laughs> back there. So we managed to fill it with fuel and it was also uh, a shell garage that also had a truck stop as well, right next to it. Um, if I can remember which one it is, I might put it on the on the screen. Um, so I did that, had a 15 minute break there as well, so that's that done. It gave me a chance to use the toilet facilities because I needed to go use the toilet. So that's what I did. We are, we're driving now um, on the A9. We're sort of, we're south of Perth. Um, I think Dumfries is sort of that way somewhere. Uh, and we're sort of past Edinburgh, so we're doing well, we're doing well. Well, are we past Edinburgh? No, we're not past Edinburgh yet. We're sort of going around like a long way around Edinburgh. Edinburgh's probably sort of diagonally left. So yeah, we're not technically past Edinburgh yet, but we're we're getting towards it. I think Falkirk is like the next place we're gonna visit, I think, or go through. But um, yeah, before Falkirk, it'd be like Stirling and that sort of thing. So yeah, Stirling, Falkirk, and then we'll make our way down. We do have uh, an estimation on where we're gonna park tonight as well. Um, there is a parking space which I've parked at uh, in the past. Every time I, if I park somewhere decent, like for example, in the last video, where I parked up uh, sort of west of Aberdeen, that's now saved in my sat nav, so I know I can park there. There's a parking space that I randomly selected uh, earlier and I was like can I get there and the answer is yes I can it's Preston um, I know exactly where it is oh sat nav just turned to dark mode but I also know it gets quite busy with trucks so it might be busy we might not be able to park there I'm not sure um, I'm hoping we can because we will be rocking up like yeah we're only gonna have half an hour driving time spare we're gonna be on nine and a half hours when we rock up and um, also we'll be on 14 hour shift so if there is no parking space there, we'll only have half an hour to go find somewhere else. I'm sure we'll be okay. I think there's quite a bit around there, I think. <laughs> but we really do need to try and get as far down as we can. So I am aiming for Preston tonight. Uh, we've still, we're still four hours and 25 minutes away. Uh, like I said, we're on, we're on three hours driving almost. So we're gonna drive for an hour and a half. That'll put us down to three hours. Then we need to have half an hour break. So we need to have half an hour break uh, in an hour and a half, give or take. And it's 10 past four now. So around about half past five, we need to stop for a break. We can stop earlier if need be. We can stop at five o'clock. If, if the traffic builds up, we will stop for a break because last thing we want is um, getting caught up in traffic and then uh, have a 30 minute break and then just carry on from there. So yes, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, lot of calculations you've got to do in your head. 
um, when you're doing long driving like this. Like already I know, before goes to plan, I should be parked up uh, about sort of five past, ten past nine before goes to plan, which means I've got to start at five past, ten past six, which would be nine hours off, minimum rest, and I'm still going to be about six hours away from a delivery point, so that's going to be five past, ten past one. Uh, plus I need a break as well, 45 minute break, because you're going to do four and a half hours, not six hours. So we're, we're already looking at minimum two o'clock delivery tomorrow, I think. So uh, yeah, time is slightly against us, and that's partly because we got held up earlier for two and a half hours at our first delivery, um, which was on the last video, I was there for two and a half hours, and, uh, and also getting stuck. But getting stuck didn't really lose too much time it was only sort of 20 minutes before the track to come down and got me so really we only lost 20 minutes from that so it's not much and we were loaded quite quickly as well so didn't really lose any time there it was just uh delivering this morning which was uh at the end of last video if, if that makes sense it's really confusing when i'm sort of i've recorded two videos but on the same day <laughs> so yeah we're going to um crack on back down i was just wanted to give you an up-to-date uh, information on what, what was happening. It is getting dark as you might be able to see. The sun's in my eyes but it is dark behind and uh, oh, mind you the sun's not really in my eyes right now. It is starting to get dark. Next time you see me it will be pitch black. It's uh, it's 11 minutes past four right now. Hey Siri what time is sunset? Sunset will be at 16, Yeah so it's in four minutes. Five minutes. No yeah four minutes now. Um, and the sun's setting down over there. So yeah, next time you see me, it definitely will be dark. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we are currently on four hours and 14 minutes worth of driving, which means we've got to be parked up in the next 16 minutes. Otherwise we will go over four hours and 30 minutes of driving, which is the maximum amount of time we're allowed to drive for without a break. So we've got to park up. Um, luckily, Route 74 is just up the road, so we're uh, we're going to park up Route 74 for half an hour. That's the aim. Hopefully there's space. Um, it is almost half past five now. We didn't get caught up in too much rush hour traffic. There was a little bit, admittedly, there was a little bit, but not too much. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're not doing too bad. He's just come up now saying, uh, continuous drive time almost reached. We're on four hours, 15 minutes. So yeah, got 50, oh no, not going right. We've got 15 minutes, here yeah, we are going right, to, um, to park up, 15 minutes. Good news is we are one minute away <laughs> from Route 74. So it should be all good. It's just a case of uh, finding a space to park in for 30 minutes. Let's go around here. And then when we want to leave, we go straight back down the, uh, the M74. So we're not coming too far off route either to um, to get to it, which is good. That's what we want to see. It's all clear. Of course, if Route 74 is busy, then um, we'll have to go on to the next one. I think there's a, a, a road chef or something slightly further down. So we'll go down there. We probably will go over four and a half hours though if we have to go down there. So hopefully we don't have to do that. Right, let's take a left into here. I always remember it's quite sharp, isn't it? Change gear, yeah, nice one. Right. That's not really a space there. That's not really a space. It looks quite busy. It does look rather busy, you know? Technically, we only need to dump it for 30 minutes. As long as everyone is staying for the night, it should be okay. We're gonna go around the back, see if there's any space. Need to clean my mirrors as well. The salt has been all over the road today from where the snow's been, obviously. I need to do the other side as well when I stop. Oh, 
Right, there's no space this side, everything's been reserved. There are spaces on the left, but they, they look reserved as well. They're all reserved. I think the only bet I got is just parking here on these yellow ma hatch markings. Like, I'm only going to be staying for half an hour. I'm going to stay in the truck as well, so if I have to move, I'll move, but... We'll just stay here for a second. I'm going to ask everyone on the left who's not got their curtains drawn if they're actually staying or not because I only need to get half an hour break in. So let me go and ask them. I'll see you when my break's over. See you in a bit. Right. 30 minute break almost up. Luckily, we've not got in anyone's way. There is a truck behind me though. Pulled up behind. Um, where's this truck going? Yeah, there's a, there's a few spaces on the left that no one's actually gone into yet, so. Uh, right, timer is up. Lovely. Are we showing 45 in the taco? We are. Light off. Let's go. So that's our 30 minute break done. Now we can crack on. So we are running out of time. Um, I've been doing some workings out of my head and uh, yeah, <laughs> it was supposed to only take 13 hours to get from collection point to delivery point. We've done four and a half hours, just under, four hours 20 we've done, but we're still nine hours 15 away um, so 9 plus 4 is the 13 hours plus the 15 minutes and the 20 minutes is uh, 35 minutes so we're 35 minutes over at the moment and that's just where we got stuck in traffic so what should have taken 13 hours currently is going to take 13 hours 35 minutes and that's bearing in mind we've only done four and a half hours driving. Sorry, that junction was a bit difficult to get out then. Cars coming everywhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are running out of time basically, but not only is it taking longer to get to our destination, we're using more time up for today. So where I thought of parking up earlier, and we would have been able to get there with like 10 minutes to spare. Currently, we are like 10 minutes over. <laughs> so we can't park there. Not unless we make up a lot of time now. Um, so I do have a second place in mind, which is uh, in an, an industrial estate in Preston, but I've never stayed there before. So I don't actually know, A, if there's going to be room, and B, whether we're even allowed. Uh, according to Street View, there's no like double yellows or anything on one side, on one particular area, but it could be that it's filled up with trucks already, because by the time we get there, it's going to be like five past nine, something like that going to be late we've still got another three hours left yet to do so it's going to be gone nine o'clock at night and also we've got to think about working time as well we can only work until half past nine so yes we are running out of time both driving time and working time but we will do what we can do <laughs> i'll see you in a little bit Okay, you join me in Preston. We are finally here. Um, daily drive time limit almost reached. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Just come up on the dash. So we are currently sitting on nine hours and 45 minutes worth of driving for the day, which means we have to be parked up within 15 minutes. 
this is a little bit risky because if there's no other park, we uh, might end up going over our drive time. This is not good. Sir. Hopefully we don't go over our drive time and there is somewhere to park. Um, we're, we're across that bridge. Also, uh, the time is five to nine at night. So last time you saw me, uh, we were just leaving Route 74 in Scotland. That was at six o'clock. So um, it's literally three hours later since you last saw me. Are you coming all the way around? No, you're going left. And we can work until 20 past nine. So we've, we've only got like 25 minutes before we need to park up for our 15 hour shift as well. So 25 minutes we need to be parked up for our working time and 15 minutes, 14 minutes now, we need to stop driving. <laughs> so hopefully, fingers crossed, there's gonna be a space here. Um, I've got three options, I think. Option one is to park where I think I can hopefully park which is on a long, a long side of the road, on the right hand side. Option two is to go and look at an Asda goods in entrance. It looks like it's long enough that I can go on in, spin around and come back out as if to face out. And hopefully I can park up there. Option three is to park on double yellows. They're the three options. Oh, and then option four, is I, got, I got like a secondary place, but whether I get there or not in time, I don't know. So we've got three options to play with within our timeline of driving time, no question about it. It's just whether one of them are free. Obviously the ideal one would be the first one where there's uh, no yellow lines on the road, on the right hand side of the road, and I can just park up there. A half a mile away, so we are gonna find out momentarily. But yeah, pretty much done as much as we can do today. We can't do much more, but we uh, we're still, still ages away from our delivery tomorrow. Uh, I'll find out for sure once we park up, but we're a good six hours away at least. Obviously we need a break as well tomorrow before we do that six hours, well before we do four and a half hours. So we'll see, we'll probably start around six o'clock in the morning, so come eight o'clock, half past eight, if it gets really busy on the roads then we'll probably stop and have a 45 minute break and then uh, we should be, then be able to then get there with the rest of the time. But that's the problem for tomorrow. We gotta park up first. Okay, we wanna go left here at this roundabout. There was a car behind me. Taking up two lanes. Go left. Car's not followed me, so there's no one behind me right now. We want to take a right hand turn onto this road, it's called Caxton Road. There it is. Oh, yeah, there's trucks here. There are trucks where I wanted to park. So this was literally it. This was the place I wanted to park, somewhere here. It's all filled up, but after this truck, yeah. After this truck, it's all double yellows. But we might be left with no option, to be honest. We have a car behind me. Yeah, it's double yellows. Quite frankly, it looks like a quiet road and I'm gone before six, so I might not have no choice but to. I'm gonna uh, try the Asda turning. That's what I'm gonna do next. So we want to go all the way down here. I don't know, you might be able to get away with it because there's ice on the side of the road and you could maybe get away with saying you didn't see the double yellows. Oh, I can already see there's a truck park there and the house are turning look. Damn it. Clear left. Right, so this is an Asda place here. I reckon I can get in front of him. If I can spin round, then I think I can park in front of him. That'd do me if I can spin round. So 
is big enough to do it. I think so. Oh, we're spinning. No way. Ah, thank God for that, we're out. Absolute nightmare. Got stuck again. <laughs> oh my God. I've had enough of today. I have actually, <laughs> actually had enough of today. But we're finally out. <laughs> what a day. What a day. We're, um, we're parked in front of this truck, like I said. I can't believe we just got stuck again. Just a case of going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, until eventually I managed to squeeze out. I am going to have to just check the truck over because I was spinning the wheels for ages as well. That'll do. Oh my gosh. Right, so, let's build up some air a second, reset the truck. I Honestly, I can't believe I just got stuck again. I was hoping that I could do it in a quick enough manoeuvre that I wouldn't get stuck, but I got stuck. And very nearly jackknifed trying to get back out of it, but we got out in the end. What a day, man, what a day. So, we just need my air to build up so I can see tachograph information. There we go. Right, so we're on 9.54. So we're six minutes good for driving time. And also we can work until 20 past nine and time is 10 past nine. So we're 10 minutes good for working time as well. Um, yeah, luckily we got sorted. I'm not gonna lie, for a second then I thought we'd be calling the boss. Boss, we're stuck. I need a rescue. But now we just, all we did is just wiggle backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, spin the wheels, melt the ice, and all of a sudden I got enough grip to give me momentum to go. So, but yeah, I do now need to go check the tyres <laughs> because, uh, well, let's just say I can smell some rubber. Let's go check it. Right, end of day check. Yeah, the Susie's got stretched a little bit as well, where it was like a 90 degree turn. These are the tyres. She's still inflated, so that's a good sign. Yeah, there's still tread. Warm to the touch, but still tread. Uh, go check the other side now as well. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but she is smoky. Tires are hot. There's the only way we can get out, melt the ice, and then we can get out. 
Uh, there is a chance that in the morning we won't be able to get out of here because it's a little bit icy, ever so slight downhill. But fingers crossed we'll be okay. Hopefully the melt, the ice, hopefully melts during the night and we'll be good. So anyway, I am signing off for the night. <laughs> oh man, what a day! I'll um, I'll see you in the morning. I don't know whether it'll be first thing in the morning or whether it'll be um, like halfway through the morning. I don't know, but I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, good morning everyone. It is the next day. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we started, by the time we left, uh, it was about half past six, uh, by the time we left this morning. And as you can see, it's snowing. We are just south of Stoke-on-Trent and it's uh, it's snowing out, so that's nice. Uh, it was about half past six, uh, by the time we left this morning. And as you can see, it's snowing. We are just south of Stoke-on-Trent and it's uh, it's snowing out, so that's nice. I thought we were done with the snow. <laughs> I don't know whether, whether it's going to be snowy um, down in Wales or not. I've literally got no idea if it's going to be snowy down there, but we just have to cross that bridge when we get there. But yes, we've done an hour and a half's worth of driving already this morning. We're still five hours, 15 minutes away. Um, so we will, of course, need to stop for a break at some point. I'd like to try and get as far down as I can, ideally, but we also do need to stop for fuel at some point. We've got half a tank of fuel and uh, I'm not entirely sure what fuel stations are down Pembroke way, so I'd rather fill up somewhere here where I know, and then I've got enough fuel to last me the whole day. I don't need to worry about fuel, I mean, it's, it's not something I've got to think about. Add blue starting to get low as well. We had a full tank of our blue um, at the start of this week, and it normally lasts two weeks, but we're down to half a tank already. <laughs> and in my experience, the lower the add blue gauge gets, the quicker it goes down. I don't know why that is, but, it, but yeah. I can imagine we can lose a couple of our blue bars by the end of today, so we need to get our blue at some point, be it tomorrow or today, I don't know. But yes, as you can see, it's raining. The, the sun is supposed to be out about now, but it ain't. <laughs> it ain't out because the snow is out instead. I'm a little bit surprised it still says national speed, though. Right? Normally they lower it to 50 when it's well, the weather like this. So yeah, um, Rough ETA to Wales, but we won't be there until about two o'clock at the earliest. Uh, we do need to stop for 45 minute break on the way down. Current ETA is uh, just after five past one. So by the time we stop and get a break in and get there, it's gonna be like two o'clock. And uh, also traffic, we've got to deal with traffic as well on the way. There is, well there was 20 minutes worth of traffic in front of us, it's gone down to five minutes, but it fluctuates all the time. Could be an accident, just, a mile at the road for we know we could be, we could be stopping any moment now so traffic is um something you've got to be aware of especially when you're driving so many miles anything can happen so uh given a rough eta between two and three o'clock is uh what i've said to, to the people we're doing the delivery for i will need to call the customer later as well just to confirm the way in i do have a suspicion which way to go in i think i'll go through pembroke over the bridge turn right to go to haunton i think that's how you say it haunton haunton, haunton. Uh, and then take a right again and go down this single track lane. But I just need to confirm, do I take a left on that single track lane where the opening is really wide? Uh, or do I follow all the way to the end and then take a very sharp left turn where you, there's a sign quite clearly says Bar Burton Farm, which is where we're delivering to. Uh, and then follow that road up. It looks like the farm was just what comes to the farm basically. But yeah, it's a very single track lane. It looks quite small on Google. And in my experience, if it looks small on Google, it's even smaller in real life. So it's going to be one of those lanes where bushes are touching either side, potentially. <laughs> and we, oh my God, we do not want to be meeting anyone on the way. So but yeah, we're going to crack on because we're just doing motorway driving at the moment. And uh, it's nothing really interesting to see. So yeah, I will see you in a little while. Tell me you've been in a snowstorm without telling me you've been in a snowstorm. <laughs> Anyway, we stopped to get some fuel. 
Got to go give our card in. Right, so we are just filling up with fuel now. Um, minus one degree right now. We're, uh, where are we? I've got absolutely no idea where we are. Do you know how long you've been just drive for so long? <laughs> Hilton Park. Hilton Park southbound is where we are. So, uh, yeah, just fill up fuel and then uh, we can crack on and go a bit further. Right, we are on four hours and seven minutes of driving, so we need to park up and have a break. Thinking of parking in this lay-by coming up, if there's room. Quarter of a mile. And then we are two and a half hours away still. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're still, we're still 107 miles away, but we need to stop and have a break. It's 10 to 11 in the morning. Can we get in? Yeah, we can get in. And get in. So we're going to stop here for a break. It's not the biggest of laybys, but it'll have to do. Yeah, it's going to have to do. And I need to clean those mirrors again as well before I, before I leave. So yeah, we'll have a nice little break here. We are going to get rocked massively by vehicles passing, but what else can you do? I have managed to phone the guy who is on the paperwork, their phone number, and I said, all right, mate, I've got to deliver potatoes for you. He goes, I don't think so. I said, yeah, for Pembroke. He goes, I'm not in Pembroke. I'm in France skiing. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not going to France. Um, he was quite funny. He laughed. Yeah, I said, oh, I'm really sorry to bother you, mate. They've put your number down on the paperwork. I said, sorry to bother you, holiday. He's like, nah, nah, it's good. It's good. Don't know what accent that was. Anyway, so I asked him for directions on where to go, and he said, yeah, go past the nursery on the right, and then it's on the next left. And I was like, is it the big turn-in? Is it the big turn-in where um, there's like a big gate? And he was like, yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. So I felt confident of where it is, but that big gate that I'm referring to is actually before the nursery, and he said go after the, nurse, right, the nursing home, sorry. So, yeah, I think it's all the way down, and then turn left. But we'll find it. It's going to be narrow lanes, very narrow lanes, but we'll find it. Anyway, let's have our break, and I'll see you when we're a little bit closer. See you in a bit. Right, we're just going up a steep hill now. We're still about 3.7 miles away from where we need to be. There's a lot of traffic back there. There's some roadworks. It's causing a bit of mayhem, to be honest with you. But we're going to be queuing in all that traffic to go back down. We ain't got much option, I don't think. We'll find out. We, um, after we get tipped here, we've got to go and get loaded with water. But um, we'll end the video when we're tipped. And when we get here, because it's been a long day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we are currently on six hours, 45 minutes driving. Uh, we're still just under 10 minutes away. So by the time we get there, park up and stuff, we're going to be on seven hours driving for today. Um, with a 45-minute with a break in between of those seven hours. So it's, it's been a long time in the seats. All day today. It's uh, nearly ten past two as well. I'm hoping that we can get tipped rather quickly. That is what I'm hoping. I don't want to be here more than an hour. Ideally, then we need to go and get loaded with uh, with water. But when we leave here, I've only got about two hours worth of driving time left, so I've got to go get loaded, and I won't have much time left to go park up. So we're in Wales tonight, so we will have been out all week this week, which don't happen often. Doesn't happen often at all. Okay, here we go. So we are now in Haunton. Is it Haunt? Haunton? Houghton? Houghton. And then we're going to take a right in 300 yards time down a track road. We've got to go to a place called Burton Farm. Some nice houses around here. Thank hey, cool. you. Right, we're in the cat right. It's more on yourself than I thought. Right, nursing home, yes. Yeah, so the bloke I said said, go past the nursing home on your right. 
we are entering a dead end road. Please don't be any traffic coming down. We do not want to see any traffic coming down here. <laughs> it's narrow. The bloke I spoke to on the phone said, go past the nursing home and then it's your next left. That is what he said. Now I was hoping it was going to be this left here which is a relatively large opening that leads up to a farm of some sort, this turning here. But this is not after the nursing home, this is before the nursing home. The old croft. So that's not where we want to go. Low trees. We want to come round a bit more. Don't really want to be reversing out of here. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a sign up here as well, looking on Google Maps, that said, last chance to turn round. Not that I think we'd get an Arctic spun round anyway. So, this is the nursing home on the right here. And it says, no turning place beyond this point. <laughs> nursing home. He said, after the nursing home, take the next left. That is what we are going to do. Reversing back out of this is doable, but would be a nightmare. Next left, bit of a dip there, don't want to go in there. Couldn't get back out. Oh, I thought that was a car coming down then. Although it could be right on the bend that I need. Is, oh my God, is it right on the bend? Looks like this car is right on the bend that I need. Please tell me it's not. I think we're good. No, we're not good. Right on the bend that we need. They're coming now. That's a very tight turn. Uh, deary, 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 deary. At least they were there. I could have been waiting here for ages. So, at least they were there. But we need to go left here. It looks very tight. I am going to have to jackknife it to stand a chance of getting in. Are making it? Are we making it? Are we making it? I'm not sure if we're making it. Need to go out and check. That is super tight.
Are you staying there? Right, <laughs> we got around the corner. That was bloody tight though. Next step is getting up this corner, uh, this road. Come on. <laughs> We're fully loaded with um, potatoes, so we are very heavy. Getting out should be a bit easier, I think. I'd, there's no way we should be up here. Ah, we're not, there's no guarantee we're even in the right place yet. There's no guarantee. <laughs> it's all fun and games. This is interesting. This is better than driving for ages and ages on the road. It gives you something to do. Now, I suspect we go straight in here. It is a complete guess. Why are we getting beeped at? We've got to go left and said, You alright, mate? Right. Yeah. Cole's up the top. Where's up there? Yeah, just up there with her. Just so you see the boxes, ah? Huh? Yeah. If you park on the road going up, I'll unload you there then. Ah, lovely. Alright, mate. Okay. Cheers. The boxes are. Like I said, it's a complete guess that I've got up there. No one's told me where I've got to go, so. Complete guess. We're normally just sort of in here, is it? Well, I hope. <laughs> I hope all the potatoes are still on. <laughs> Turn hill assist off. Lovely. Right. We're here. There's loads of room to spin around as well, so we're good. Got to try and get back out yet. Yeah, it's a very tight turn that was, but we made it. Anyway, see you in a bit. Right, so we are in Wales, uh, getting tips now. It's uh, literally <laughs> dead end almost. Little uh, single track roads into the middle of nowhere, but we got here. We've got plenty of space to turn around over here, so that's good. And then we'll just make our way back out. But they just said that they heard me, they heard me honk my horn. That's why they come down. And uh, they said, was someone parked in the corner? I said, yeah. And they were like, oh, they always park in the corner. So we might have that. We're trying to get back out as well, yeah. We'll have to see. But anyway, all the traps are undone. We're just getting unloaded now. Happy days. Okay, we're good to go. Just need to spin round. This truck keeps changing gear at really weird times. And I really don't want it to change gear. Bring it in here.
Lovely. And out we go. Right, we should, fingers crossed, get out a lot easier than we did coming in. Got to be careful of those wires right there. The trailer nearly touched them. So yeah, hopefully we can get out a lot easier. Hopefully there's no car parked in the way. And we know that we're going the right way now to get out, whereas on the way in, we didn't have a clue which way we were going in or back out. So we go down here. Low branch, just missing it. Lovely. We are going to get a little bit of traffic as well. I think it's all clear around the corner. All clear, all clear. Got to mind that tree on the left, these trees on the right. Nice waterfall. Right, no one stopped there this time. <laughs> luckily, they were literally just down the road, so. Yeah, that was lucky. We've got to be careful of the tail swing on the trailer because we're going to take it out on this brick wall. loads of room on this side we just got to take it nice and wide nice and slow so we don't take the trailer swing out we're good okay it's a lot easier getting in because i can see <laughs> madness absolute madness anyway so we are heading now to our collection point but you're not going to see that we are an hour away from our collection point so we're going to be there on eight roughly eight hours driving and then pretty much got to find somewhere to park up nearby. Could be a lay-by, could be an industrial estate, I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, probably, probably what I'll do is just, um, I'll do that and get loaded and then I'll say bye to you then later on today. So it is actually the end of my day as well. So just, I prefer ending videos when it is actually my end of day. We've got a pedestrian here. Two pedestrians and a dog. Is it a dog? No, just two pedestrians. They're like, why is he down here? I'll go past very slow in case they slip and fall. All right, we're clear. She was, I could see that she was a bit not very steady on her feet. She's on a slippery slope. If she fell and my wheels ran over her, I would still be at fault. So just keep an eye on the whole time. It's on camera that I'm looking. Right, anyway, I'm going to crack on to my collection point. According to the reviews on Google, if you, once they start loading you, you're in and out in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So I'm hoping that's the case. Hopefully we will be parked up around five, half five tonight. Um, we shall have to see. But I will see you anyway when once we are probably parked up or once we're loaded. See you in a bit. Okay, and that is it. We're uh, we're now loaded with um, bottled water and uh, it's going to Tunbridge in the morning. We are now just parked up just outside Swansea. Um, it's 20 to 7, so it's been a relatively long day. We parked up pretty much bang on nine hours driving so we can't really do any more driving today we could go into a 10 but i'd rather save a 10 for tomorrow being friday just in case you never know so yeah we're um we're done let's put it on rest there we go rest at 1840 yeah 1200 miles in three days which means we've averaged 400 miles a day which ain't too bad Averaging 400 miles in, in, in a day, each day. But yeah, so we're done. We're uh, gonna park up, I'm gonna close the curtains. I'm going to go to sleep and I'm gonna start it all again tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching the last two videos. Hopefully you've enjoyed the trip up to Scotland and the trip back down again. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that in this very video is the video that I got stuck in because it was yesterday and it just feels like it's so long ago now. But yeah. 
we've done a lot of miles this week. I love it. I love the, the miles. It's just um, the, 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 the it's just the 15 hour shifts, nine hours off, 15 hour shifts. But yeah, no, I hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed the trip up to Scotland and back down again. I personally, I love it. I love doing the, the long distance driving. Um, just banging those hours out. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.